Hi everybody. If you're using SmartOffice on a newer version of M3, you probably want to try out scripting. It's the best way to extend M3 and to give you a bunch of functionality that would normally be a modification. In SmartOffice, you're going to use something called jscript.net. If you're using the H5 client, that's actually TypeScript JavaScript, and we're not going to be covering that right now. Now I'm only going to be covering jscript. So why would you script an M3? What's the purpose of that? Well, you can do all kinds of cool stuff. My favorite is to create workflow buttons or smart buttons that essentially catapult you to any spot within M3 from any spot. Let me show you an example of one right now. At the top of my screen, I have two smart buttons, MMS080, which is the material plan, and MWS060, which is the balance ID. Now normally if I want to go to these programs, I'd have to open them up and drag and drop this item number in the particular views. But if you create a script, you can launch those programs with that information right inside. There's my MMS080 and there's my MWS060. Using these smart buttons, I can go anywhere into M3 that I want. That's just one example of scripting. Another example is you could change your layout of your screen. This is a really cool function. So for instance, maybe I don't like the way Customer Master is laid out. I'm pretty sure your screen doesn't look like this. What this script does here is takes address line 3, brings it up right underneath the name field, so it looks like I'm using two fields for the name. But actually I'm just repurposing address line 3. This is a script as well. With scripts I can hide things, I can call APIs, I can do all kinds of cool stuff. Scripts are actually personalized settings. They run locally. So here's my address layout script. What you do is you use the JScript development tool within SmartOffice, create your script, test it out, and then publish them. You then add that script as a personalized setting to global users or individual users to make them active. If this is something you want to learn how to do, then check out my next video where we create our very first JScript in SmartOffice.